Hello, my name is Dan Holiday and welcome to ClimbingArborist.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a very simple three to one pulling advantage or mechanical advantage, usually used by arborists for pulling over trees, um, but lots of different uses and really good once you understand mechanical advantages. So yeah, I'm going to demonstrate the setup of a basic three to one. It's pretty simple. So if you just want to learn that, then I'll do that first and then you can watch that part and carry on with the rest of the day. Um, after that, I'll just go into some of the little nuances um, and talk about different equipment that you can use within your three to one to make it the best and most efficient you possibly can. Hello. I'm going to tie a sling around the base of my anchor tree. So rope is in the tree, sling on the base of my tree that I'm going to be pulling from. So I'm going to add one pulley at the, at the base of this tree and then I'm going to put the rope through that pulley. I'm then going to take the tail with me. Actually, I'm going to stand on the tail there so it keeps the rope up here. And I'm going to tie a prussic hitch. So you can tie an English prussic or a French prussic. Uh, I'm just going to tie a French prussic. So basically, I'm going to do six wraps around the rope. And then I'm going to attach a carabiner to that. And then I'll just test, make sure that's going to grab. Yeah, that's going to grab nicely. And then the next thing I'll do, I'll, so I'll take the tail of my rope that I brought with me. And I'm going to take a second pulley, put the rope through the pulley attach that to the carabiner on the hitch that's on the rope and that is the basic setup so now I'm going to pull the system so now I've got my three to one mechanical advantage I'm just going to tidy the tail of the rope out of the way so I don't trip over it So that is my three to one. Now, that is a basic setup and that'll give you the pull, that three to one pull. Um, but the only thing is there's nothing, as you, as you, when you let go, there's nothing to stop that just from, you know, going slack again straight away. So that is the basic setup. But if you want to stop that slack, as when, once you let go, you want to capture the progress. So I need another prussic. So this time I'm going to tie um, an English prussic. So I'm going to pass it through three times, which will give me a six wrap prussic. And this pulley has a, like a, it's a prussic minding pulley or prussic tending pulley. So I'm just going to set and dress that prussic. So now I'm going to pull this system again. See, so when I let go this time, this prussic is going to hold the and capture the progress, even though this has all gone slack. So if these, if this pulley came all the way, you got all the way here and you run out of rope, to, but you need, still needed some more pull, this prussic is going to capture the progress and then you can just slide this prussic back up again and then you can carry on pulling. So this gives you, this is a theoretical three to one mechanical advantage. Um, it's not going to be quite three to one because of the friction, but that's uh, that's a topic for another video. 
So there you go. Now let's get a little bit more technical. If you only had two pulleys available to make this three to one system, the most efficient way to make it is to add the most efficient pulley at this location which is closest to you putting the input force and then the, the, the smaller or less efficient pulley here. So if I've just got this one big rock exotic pulley, I'm gonna put it in this location. So now, the, way, the reason it's slightly better is because as you pull, the first point of contact for adding friction is this first pulley. So, so say if this is like, I don't know what the stats are, but say if this is 95% efficient, then this is 95% coming down this rope and then it's gonna meet the next pulley which is slightly less efficient. So that might be whatever that is, like 92. So you're keeping, more of the tension if this is, this first pulley is more efficient. Okay, let's strip it back. Say if you're really tight on equipment and you don't have much equipment at all, and you, so let's say you don't have an extra prusuk, so we'll take that away. You don't have that, and you don't have this pulley either. So that you can still do, you can still set up like the Z-Rig or the three to one, but it's gonna be way less efficient. So it's definitely not gonna be three to one. So you can put the rope just through the carabiner. If you don't have a pulley, you can just use a carabiner. Um, and then if you don't have a prusuk, you're just gonna to have to tie something like an Alpine butterfly. So you're gonna, you just need something to attach a carabiner to. So let's tie an alpine there. So going through that carabiner and then go back through that carabiner. So you've still got your you still got your Z-rig but there's more friction because it's just going around the carabiner not through um, a sheave, not through a pulley wheel but you'll still get more than if you were just to pull the rope. So, and you can feel, you can feel it when you go to let go, it doesn't just instantly fall out of your hands, like because of the friction on that carabiner and the friction on that carabiner. Um, <clears throat> you, can, you can just tell the difference between the, the levels of friction. So that's, that's really as basic as, as you can get to make uh, a mechanical advantage, but then, the problem that you'll get here is say if you if you ran out of pull or run out of room or whatever you're pulling started coming so this carabiner ends up touching here you you then can't advance this because this is just a, a knot that you've tied rather than a hitch that you could advance okay so this time we're going to use two petzl spin l1ds one there and one here, just because these are my favorite pulleys and for mechanical advantage, these are brilliant. So they're a one-way spinning pulley. So I'll just clip that on there. And you can hear they're ratcheting. That's the one-way system. So now with these two efficient pulleys, we're, we're pulling and the, both pulleys are spinning, but then once we stop or let go, they lock out. So there's more friction on the, on the pullback. So I just love these, because the more pulleys you add into the system, the, the, the harder it is for it to pull back. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up my dream three to one mechanical advantage. So I've got the petzl spin on that end and I've got a petzl protraction. The protraction has uh, an inbuilt progress capture. So if you've got all the money, all the equipment to spend on, or all the money to spend on all this fancy equipment, you can get yourself a protraction. So make sure you put it in the right way around. Click that in 
and now this little cam on this side press the button down so it engages the cam and now it's got an fairly efficient pulley for your three to one but then as you let go it just locks it out and you see the progress has been captured on this leg of line and then you could reset your system if you needed to so there you go thank you for watching um, that is a basic three to one setup well this one isn't quite as basic but it shows the setup and all the different equipment you can use